wild time. I got a fact. A little Reddit rundown fact. Uh, did you know there are 40% more tigers in the world than previously estimated? I did know that because I you talked did? about it at Congress. Or no, at the United Nations. Okay. So when did they find this <laughs> out and why haven't people been made aware? Uh, when, they have been. I think the, the question what's is when the did previously you previously estimate it? Like, is this five years ago? Three years ago? When did they think there was 40% less? Uh, that's a good question. I don't remember the answer to that. But it, Discovery Channel asked me to talk about Project Cat, which is the thing that Discovery funds or is affiliated with, which mm -hmm. is uh, the big cat restoration project. And in India, in the last four or five years, tiger populations have come up like you said, 40%, which is huge because they That's were uh, they were very much so estimating that tigers were going to go extinct. They were like, it was like what was going on with the rhinos. They were big, iconic. People couldn't believe it, but like year after year, their numbers were dwindling. And then, yeah, yeah. sure enough, these big projects managed to sort of save it. Now, the difference between the tigers and the rhino is, while there was poaching for tigers, especially specifically for the whiskers, which is ridiculous. That's um, absurd absurd uh it was more about habitat loss and habitat degradation like they were just they were just wiping out all the area the tigers lived now in the rhino's case their horn is just so valuable that like it doesn't there's plenty of space for them there's just it's trying to slow down the poaching is just so difficult and deadly i mean people yeah. are getting shot every day oh, I, I love it i always i always get I the, a warming in the subcockles of my heart when i hear about like dead poachers is that wrong uh, no. sa says here a fairly significant chunk of the 40% is explained by the fact that they're just better at counting them. I love that. Oh, interesting. It says that th that they put a really large effort and moved heaven and earth to do these massive scale surveys, which is good news because they're putting more effort, more money, more thought into this type of thing. That's, uh, that's cool. It's, it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, reminds me of something, right? Imagine... Imagine you put in all this time and effort to like this giant tiger count, right? Well, uh, <laughs> this, yeah. this, which is, in, it's cool. I'm not saying it's not cool. It's interesting. And then you're like, oh, we figured it out. I just had Mitch and JQ, two of the camera guys and this, this girl Haley that works with me. They got hired independently from me, but they got hired to go down for the release of the Spix Macaw. Now, for those that don't know, the Spix Macaw was the, the blue parrot that the movie Rio was made around, um, which was extinct in the wild completely until about three weeks ago. And there's a whole long story. It's actually really interesting. We can talk about this. This German gangbanger named Martin Guth um, had illegally collected all of these parrots through money that nobody can understand. Like he was flying around the world in a private jet, going to Saudi Arabia, meeting with sultans, negotiating for their private pet parrots. Like there were none left in, in the wild. So this guy collected all these parrots he had a bunch of scientists get super mad at him because they're, they're like, you're doing this rogue, you're doing this your own way. Anyway, he ended up hiring scientists that agreed with him, set up this breeding program in Germany, bred a bunch of Spix macaws, then set up this breeding facility in Brazil where they're native to, moved the birds over there, bred some, and then finally, like six weeks ago, released the first ever birds. But Martin and his team, ACTP, uh, which I don't remember what the hell that stands for, something parrot something or other, They've been working on this project for like 15, 20 years, right? Like this has been an ongoing thing. All they do is parrots day in and day out, breeding parrots, working on it. And Mitch and JQ and Haley go down there to film this release, right? Well, at the end of the day, and this is, this is, in, this is an interesting tidbit, and Patrick can speak to it more for the Brosners. Nobody gives a shit about the parrots as far as watching it. Everybody cares about the parrots surviving, but that's not what you want to see. You want to see emotion and like feel these parrots being released and like how significant it is to people so that you as a human can relate to another human's passion and excitement for it and go, Oh my God, this is a big deal. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I tell you all that because here are these like 18 scientists. Okay. They've been working on this singular project of reintroducing parrots into the wild for 18, 20 years. And they open the cage doors, takes a few minutes. And sure enough, the stunning Spix Macaw comes to the side of the cage looks around, sort of stretches its wings out and flies off into the into the sunset, right? And like Mitch and JQ, as they should do, they turn the cameras on the scientists and the scientists are like, okay. and like turn and start walking off. 
and that's it. Just <laughs> such like scientists, like they literally are like, okay, and uh, and, they, and that's it. Like there's no like yes or like emotion or anything. They're just like couldn't be more bland. It's 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 like if somebody dropped your your milkshake. Like they're just like, <laughs> okay, yeah, and uh, and that was it. And that was like the whole reaction. They're showing me all this footage, and I'm like giving them notes on the little film they're making for them. And uh, I'm just like, is there a single person that's happy about this release? Right. And they're like, no, nobody smiled. They were just glad, you know, it was done. And I'm like, is there anybody, like anything, like a single smile, like anything? And they're like, no, we filmed everybody. We did OTFs. Like nobody, nobody said anything. They're just like, okay, glad they're to get pick up, stu- Have Sorry, them pick up a shot, you know, just standing against a similar background where Johnny pans his camera over to Mitch and Mitch is weeping. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I'm, I swear to God, I told him that. I'm like, just turn the camera on JQ, and JQ's just in tears with smiles. Like, that's it. <laughs> right. That's all you there need, you and somebody will care more. Um, yeah. But anyway, yeah. it's a long story, but it's just crazy to see. And I, I think it reminded me of this tiger survey, because you can imagine these tiger biologists that have been counting tigers for 35 years, and then they like, they're like, oh, well, here's how to do it right. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So if you want more behind the scenes stuff, stuff that we cannot show on YouTube, Darwin Awards, video breakdowns and reviews, check out the Patreon. It's full of hours and hours of incredible exclusive content, stuff that you guys are going to love. Swipe up, click the link, do the thing, come and hang out on Patreon. See you guys there.